Yes. <coughs> so let me begin uh, with a small correction. Um, last time I actually misread uh, the notation in the outcomes paper. And uh, Andrea and Alberta pointed out uh, the following example when uh, the characteristic part for the real algebra uh, SL4 um, uh, this uh, 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 this slice uh, doesn't work. So, and the reason for that, it actually is uh, not a slide. Uh, what the outcome uses is, uh, is sort of related to the previous notion of, uh, uh, of the good slides. And in fact, this part of the argument is due to Springer in the outcome paper. So what he takes, he takes, uh, um, he takes x plus a regular new quarter element. This is just a set of simple rules. But instead of taking f, like here, he takes element x minus, which is the sum of negative simple root vectors. These two elements, well, it will generate something e. So it's not going to be an SL to triple. But uh, the advantage of this is that this actually is a slice. And it will work for p bigger than h and in fact for smaller p. However, if you look at this case, uh, this is still uh, so the Coxter number will be 4, so 5 is <coughs> bigger than 4. Uh, this is the regular important element uh, E, uh, which we can write in this form, and then you can compute that the value of the killing form for the trace form is 0, not 5. Not five. But once you know this, then you can prove that the killing form actually vanishes identically on the whole thing on the slides. Okay. And the reason for that is that actually uh, the intersection is not zero here, and therefore this is uh, not a slice. But one has to be careful. Such things uh, can happen also for other times. Uh, this uh, explains that uh, one really has to take a different slice when P is small. Uh, and uh, so now I will just proceed with um, point W algebra. So, um, and this will uh, somehow be related with um, what Vera uh, explained uh, in, her in her talk uh, yesterday. So let me uh, <coughs> remind you our setup. We have a function of the uh, characteristic P, uh, as before. Uh, <coughs> P is positive, but we, we keep the same assumptions uh, on the group uh, as before, the mild assumption. Then we have uh, uh, EHF uh, uh, SLP triple, non zero. Formally, zero triple is also SLP triple, but we don't allow it. <coughs> then we can uh, write down G as a sum of uh, GI, I is Z. And we know that. Uh, uh, the centralizer of P is contained in P, which is a parabolic subalgebra of G of this form. And we also know that E belongs to uh, G2 and F belongs to G minus 2. So this is our setup. And now I need to um, introduce some uh, notation, so let um, uh, x1, xr, xr plus 1, xm be a basis, a uh, k okay basis of p of this parabola such that uh, uh, we, we require two conditions, such that uh, xi belongs to G and I. So <coughs> they're all homogeneous. So uh, this is that one gradient. Is the gradient in this by co character or is it in G by A? <coughs> it's a gradient by co character. No, it's not induced. No. Uh, we cannot uh, uh, have, have a gradient by A because <coughs> it's going to be a P gradient, but not Z gradient. We want this to be a Z gradient. So this, uh, there is a co character which I do not is one that E uh, from K cross to. G. And this, uh, this is optimal for character in the sense of Kemp Rousseau. 
and the, the real algebra of lambda e of the product is just uh, this one k. So, but mm -hmm. we do assume that there is an S sub 2 triple. We, we do, in this case, uh, well, actually, uh, F is not very efficient, but we, we do have a sub 2 triple in this case. Yes. But, but uh, last time you said that it, it, it doesn't always exist. It always exists in this okay. Yes. A cell to triple exists under our assumption. Any E can be included into a cell to triple, but you may have some strange behavior. It might happen that E and F are no longer conjugate under the action of e. This does happen. But the existence of a cell to triple is not practical under our assumption. So um, now, so we assume that all XR are homogeneous, and we also assume that uh, X1, XR uh, is a basis uh, of G, <coughs> which is part of P. So this is our setup. Now we also need <coughs> uh, we also need a basis of G minus one. So let uh, uh, Z1, ZS. Uh, Z1 prime, Zs prime, be a bit basis of, um, of G minus 1 uh, <coughs> with respect to uh, this uh, skew symmetric form that I introduced, and which was also in the Aristotle. So this form is just uh, uh, E comma the breakdown. Uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, is that true? No, uh, 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 yes, E is from the text. On G minus 1. Uh, th this is a non-degenerate skew symmetric form. And then uh, <coughs> we also assume that L is uh, our totally isotropic subspace, which has the span of uh, uh, Z1 prime, Z S prime. So this is our uh, setup. <coughs> now, what do we have? Um, we are uh, interested in uh, uh, in this uh, finite dimensional W algebra UGD, which was defined as the endomorphism algebra of, um, of this uh, induced module two pi e opposite. But we will soon uh, switch to uh, characteristic zero case. I'm just trying to explain why this is uh, actually possible. Um, now, um, so then uh, we take, uh, uh, we give uh, U of G uh, Z filtration uh, Z filtration by uh, which is called Kajdan uh, filtration uh, by assigning uh, the k of um, x is equal to n plus 2 for, for x and g and then any integer. And this, uh, this is going to be uh, a z filtration, so this gives rise uh, This gives rise to an algebra filtration uh, <coughs> of UPG. And this filtration uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, non negative. So in, uh, in the case when it is regular nilpotent element, uh, Kostman studied the so-called Whittaker module, and then in his paper, uh, he attributes uh, this uh, uh, filtration to Kajdan, and so uh, this is also referred as Kajdan uh, uh, filtration.
Now, uh, we know that every element uh, is uh, uniquely determined uh, if you take u in a, uh, a u, p, g, uh, n. So it has Kajdan degree n, but uh, this uh, does not belong to the p, uh, g, n minus 1. So we interested in um, uh, <coughs> what they think is, and they can write down uh, uh, its effect on, uh, on the canonical generator of our module. Will be, let me write it down uh, as follows. So there will be some, uh, will be some multi-index notation. Lambda AD, uh, X I, uh, sorry, X A, Z B, uh, uh, times uh, uh, chi, where um, xi is just uh, x1, i1, xn, ikn, just a shorthand notation, and that is z1, v1, zn, and that has ps. Of course, s can be zero as well. And uh, uh, we introduce the following. Uh, uh, Z or Z prime? Sorry? It's Z or Z prime? Say it again. I thought you think Z primes is this. Uh, Z primes are in, did I say, uh, no, no, L is the span of Z1 prime, ZS prime. And then what, what is left is just Z. Ah, because you can. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <coughs> so I'll just uh, introduce this. Uh, uh, degree, but it's just a restatement of Kajdan degree uh, in terms of this multi indices. So this will be uh, the summation uh, uh, AI uh, NI plus 2 plus sum of BI. And from this formula, you can see that this, uh, this is non negative. Uh, <clears throat> so how can we write this down? Um, well, <clears throat> now we introduce uh, lambda n, lambda u n is uh, is all uh, uh, all indices a b such that uh, lambda a b is not zero and uh, a b is equal to n. Um, so it's just finite set of indices which occur here, and then we um, we introduce lambda u max to be so let's say uh, and uh, lambda u n for which uh, the total degree a plus b just a standard degree is minimal possible. So uh, on one hand we require here we require the largest Kajdan degree, but here we require the lowest standard degree. And then one can show uh, then one can show uh, it's a computation really. Uh, one has to do it just once. Uh, so uh, so we have A B uh, belongs to lambda u max implies that b is zero entirely, just a zero table, and uh, a is equal to p uh, zero zero, and p is uh, it's just uh, p one pi. Yeah. So uh, what it says here that. Um, this support, uh, uh, so this part is entirely supported on the centralizer of A, on the centralizer of A. Uh, <clears throat> and then, uh, so then we have a projection. From this, we have a projection. Uh, well, maybe I say it injects it back. Linear mode. Uh, from, uh, from U T G E 
to restrict the converting algebra of the central algebra. But uh, so here is the tree because you know by, by this Marita theorem uh, that I proved, uh, we know the dimensions. So since uh, uh, dimension of this finite dimensional W algebra U P G uh, is equal to P to the R, this follows from uh, from the Marita theorem I proved last time which happens to be the same as dimension of u, p, of g. So <clears throat> the linear map we obtain is, uh, is a linear isomorphism. So we get a linear isomorphism. So here the key point is that uh, this uh, finite dimensional W algebra and UP of G have the same dimension. Uh, and this can be proven by using Marita theorem I stated last time. Uh, so which implies really that uh, any P, uh, <coughs> any multiple, uh, so any tuple P1, PR can come from some element in, uh, in finite W, in finite dimensional W algebra. So therefore, uh, as a consequence, uh, so, so sorry, 0, 1, uh, 0 occurs, uh, this is an i's position, occurs uh, in, uh, let's say. Sorry, UPG means uh, U0G. Yes, it, it, yeah, something that you also, there are different notations for restricted and relative version. Mm -hmm. This is what Janssen uh, <coughs> uses. But uh, to be more consistent, I think mm -hmm. I actually used this notation before, probably. Mm -hmm. But we also use this notation. So they are the same thing. Yes. Um, so, uh, so any tuple of this type occurs uh, in, in here for some uh, in W algebra. Therefore, so therefore, <coughs> Uh, for for each i less than or equal to r, r there is uh, element theta i in, in this algebra such that <coughs> well we know it's a fact such that theta i applied to canonical generator will be epsi. That's a monomial that we have. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, coming from, from this bit plus uh, uh, k degree uh, plus terms of k degree n i plus 2 n i plus 2 is, uh, is a Kajdan degree of x i plus lawyer terms plus lawyer k terms has done this depends on one kind. And that holds uh, for every i. And from this, it's very easy to prove that uh, from this it follows. Just by a, uh, by a standard filtration argument, from this it follows. Uh, that the monomial theta 1, a1, theta r, a r, where of course uh, this, this indices are pretty restricted, so a i less than equal to p minus 1. This set is a k basis. <coughs> it's a k basis. Of, of the finite dimensional double dimension. <coughs> so, <clears throat> the key point here is, uh, of course, uh, this uh, dimension of qualities which enables us uh, to quantize, in a sense, the elements of the central line. Sasha, mm -hmm. uh, when you mentioned Marita theorem, mm -hmm. could you remind? The Marita theorem I mentioned was, uh, was this, uh, that we, we know that u chi of g is isomorphic to the matrix algebra ah. 
and the size of matrices P to the power of one half of dimension of the order uh, U P of G. Of course, this algebra has dimension P to dimension of G. And when you, uh, and that, well, these are matrices of this size, so that this implies the dimension of this is P to R, which is the same as, uh, which happens to be the same as dimension of, uh, where is it? Oh, as dimension of this take to the world and also more the central mm -hmm. Now, uh, so at this point, I realized that uh, we can actually leave this uh, to characteristic zero. So lifting uh, uh, to characteristic zero case. I think that what I'm talking about is it, it should be section 3.3 if, if I'm not mistaken. It's getting harder to keep this number in there. So, so how do we lift in characteristics? So now suppose that we are working over C. We don't have uh, P-center anymore. We don't have reduced enveloping algebras. But we can define uh, just on this reduced module QE will be just U of G. <coughs> and uh, we keep the same subalgebra because it is well defined in characteristic zero as well. Uh, U, M, and here we have C chi and C chi is C1 chi. Um, uh, now this is an infinite dimension induced module, and now we define almost finite W algebra, UGE, uh, that's where we finite W algebra. Associated with the pair uh, GE, and it's just an uh, endomorphism algebra of uh, QE and we take over. So part of what I said... Uh, so what is for the M? Uh, U of M? M is, uh, as before, M is a subalgebra L plus the sum GI, where I is less than or equal to minus two. So uh, it, will, uh, it will also has, have a similar bit basis because we can choose uh, bit basis over some rationals at least and then we can uh, reduce mod p for almost all primes so everything is defined over q uh, in this setting there will be only finitely many uh, primes in denominators and we can get rid of them just by allowing almost all primes so um, there is uh, this algebra so uh, now, <clears throat> such things are usually difficult to describe, but since we know uh, we have a very regular uh, behavior, uh, we may expect the same also in this situation. So <clears throat> again, so each, uh, each U in the UG is determined by its effect on uh, on the canonical generator one chi. And um, so the existence uh, of um, uh, theta i, now I will write uppercase, theta i uh, is, uh, is equivalent uh, to <coughs> Uh, finding a solution a solution to a huge non-homogeneous system of linear equations so we are now we are in characteristic zero but we are trying to find an element in a in UGE, which has the same effect as here, more or less. 
And uh, so, of course, the only uh, condition is that it, it will have, it should have nice commutation property with some chi. And that will give you a very large non-homogeneous system of linear equations, which we can solve for all, almost all prime. So, well, we know when a non-homogeneous system of linear equations can be solved, so the rank of, of the system should, have the rank, should be equal to the rank of extended system. And so, since we know it's true for almost all prime, it should also be solvable over here. So, since we can solve uh, since we can solve uh, for all p sufficiently large, but uh, can also solve over rational. Over so there is a solution. And, uh, and that's all uh, we need to know. Because the rest, uh, we still have a done degree, of course. And, uh, and then the rest will, uh, will be, one can repeat just <coughs> what I already said. So, so as a result, uh, what well, you need to go to characteristic P to find this uh, Well, I mean, uh, so we just, uh, we just write down uh, our element like this and we, we have to prove it exists. The existence of such an element, it exists if and only a certain system non-homogeneous system of linear equations can be solved. Well, uh, when we reduce this system mod p, well, we just, uh, all coefficients will be q. So we get rid of denominators. And then, uh, so since we can solve it for, for almost all primes, uh, we can also solve it. Out. It's basically linear algebra. There is one thing which I don't quite understand. Uh -huh. uh, when you do go to uh, there you have this uh, reduced universal. Uh, yeah, yes, that, that's a very uh, important point. Uh -huh. I have to tell you that there is no P here, so the this NI plus 2 uh, is independent of P. It only depends on an important element. Well, we, ah, we, we therefore, take, the fact that you yeah. wash it by this P center. Yeah, so there it will no, uh, so all terms which will be here will be bounded by an i plus 2, and therefore there is no p anymore. That's a key point. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. In such, uh -huh. you write down x i plus terms of degree uh, an i plus 2, but yeah. the degree of x i is also... Uh, yeah, the degree of x i, in, in a sense, x i is the highest term here, yeah. although it's linear. So, but this is, why is an i plus 2 too, right? <coughs> Xi has Kajdan degree and I plus 2. That's so how what does it mean? Xi plus terms of degree and I plus 2. So it may be, you can just drop Xi from this equation, right? Or no, Xi is very important. This is my leading term. This is how I get this. Uh, but if it has the same degree as non leading terms. Yeah. So you want to drop it? So why cannot we drop it? So why, why, why I do don't it? want to drop it. I mean, it's very important for me because I, I, want, I want it to, it, I mean, it cannot be dropped. This so is a, a, so a second, second atom, can it be minus xi? No, uh, plus, oh sorry, plus, uh, oh yeah, you are, now I understand, no. plus uh, non-linear, oh yes, thank you. Okay. Oh, I see now, yes, I forgot to say, this is also important. Plus non-linear terms of Kajdan, so there is only one linear term of this Kajdan degree. Thank you, yes, I forgot to mention that. Well, so uh, it's just a uh, non-homogeneous system of linear equations, which we know has a solution uh, mod p for almost all p. Then it has solution over q. So therefore, uh, uh, UGE uh, has a C basis, has a C basis, uh, well, no. Theta one, A one, theta R, A R. Of course, now A I are uh, uh, non-negative integers, mm -hmm. and uh, we also <coughs> can show that. <coughs> if you have the uh, in the centralizer G E, uh, well, we can break it to elements X I J, and this will be just some. C I J K X K in uh, in G E. 
if you have this relation in, in the Lie algebra of the centralizer, then uh, we can say what is the bracket of this two elements, theta i, theta j. When we break it, remember, uh, so our product is opposite, so it will be theta j, uh, theta i minus theta i, theta j. And this will be <coughs> summation uh, c i j k, uh, theta k. Now, this will have Kajdan degree, uh, this has k degree uh, n i plus uh, n j minus 2, this bit here, uh, <coughs> plus uh, nonlinear terms, well, let me write it down, plus q i j theta 1, theta r, plus lower uh, k degree terms, lower k terms. Uh, where qi uh, are non-linear. So, um, <coughs> non-linear of, uh, of k degree, n i plus n j minus So, uh, if I call this, uh, this expression, why qi? It should be qi j. Uh, yes, it should be QIG, thank you, QIG. Ah. <coughs> now, uh, of course, the Poisson bracket uh, uh, theta i, theta j, or maybe I should say uh, uh, will be just uh, summation c i j So uh, there will be these uh, nonlinear terms uh, in, uh, in the Poisson bracket. Also, uh, um, the Poisson algebra uh, UGE, uh, as an algebra is commutative, as an associative algebra is isomorphic to the function algebra on the slaughter slice E plus G. And this uh, can be identified with a symmetric algebra of GE in a natural way and uh, regarded with this gradient introduced by slaughter. This slaughter is there. And slaughter gradient is just uh, uh, just obtained by uh, well, it is defined the same way as Kajdan degree in a sense. We just want this to be uh, degree zero, or f to be more precise. Uh, Ginsburg, Gunn and Ginsburg uh, found a, a characteristic zero proof of, uh, of the theorem. Uh, so, uh, of the fact that this has a nice PBW basis, 
and uh, there to follow uh, uh, Costan's argument, just a generalization of Costan's argument uh, to this more, uh, more general sense. I don't think this would work uh, in characteristic D. But this approach has some advantages because one can uh, shift between characteristic zero and characteristic P and then use the fact that we have a large P center. Um, now there is another uh, uh, filtration which is called, uh, maybe I should mention it. Um, I think this will be uh, part 3.4. Uh, this, uh, this applies to both characteristic zero case and uh, characteristic P case, and suppose K is C, but one can also do the same in positive characteristic. Now we can define uh, the, um, the loop filtration. Uh, I don't know why it is called loop filtration. But for me, it's very convenient because there is good K and there is also good L. So from notation point of view, it's very useful. Uh, so the loop filtration um, of UGE and also uh, UPGE uh, is defined as follows. So first of all, uh, we, um, we let, uh, uh, so we introduce a while algebra on uh, AS, but on G minus one. So if G minus one is zero, there will be no AS. So let AS be uh, the while algebra, Z1, ZS, uh, Z1 prime, Time, so we have, uh, and these things commute, and these things also commute, and we have uh, Zi prime, Zj, the bracket is equal to delta j. So it's an almost while algebra on, uh, uh, on g minus 1. Uh, then, uh, Gunn and Ginsburg proved the following theorem. I think in 2002, if I'm not mistaken. So they proved that uh, this can also be proven in characteristic P. That UGE uh, can be obtained in, in a more <coughs> equivalent way, so to say. So UGE uh, is equal to U uh, G uh, and then I take uh, factor out the ideal generated by the following element. So I take N minus 2 pi. I will explain what it is. Uh, so this, uh, this is of course part of M. This is part of M. Uh, but then uh, so one has to pay price for this and then I have to take invariance under other N minus 1. Here, um, so n minus i, n minus i is so the summation of, or maybe I should say, n minus k, the summation of uh, g i, i less than or equal to minus k. So for every k, and, uh, and n minus 2 chi is a span of um, x minus chi of x, where x belongs to uh, n minus 2. And this span leads, of course, in the open. So this can also uh, be proven uh, in, in characteristic P, and then, of course, one has to replace u by u chi, and that's all one has to do. So what is the advantage of this? Uh, Well, we have... Uh, sorry, sorry, Kai? What is Kai? Kai is, as before, Kai is uh, 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 E 
Uh, it is just a linear form associated with C. Now, uh, so you replace u by u, u of g e by u p of g e, and u of g yes, by u p. Uh, now, uh, now we are uh, over complex number. Very simple, simple. No, characteristic p. Uh, you replace u of g by u k of g. Yes, so we just we, we replace u of g by u p of g and u of g by u k of g. Okay. That's all we need to do. Yeah. But it still requires proof. So it's not entirely obvious that this can be done, but it can be done. Um, now, reduction. Mm -hmm. This work over the proportional reduction. Uh, Just the quantization of proportional reduction. No, it's a, uh, well, I, I should probably say it's not equal, but as a motion. It's a, uh, uh, and, it, and it, this isomorph is an filtration preserver. Look filtration. Which filtration? So we also have, of course, Kajdan filtration on the right-hand side because it comes from a Z filtration of U of G. So there is no problem with that. Um, now, what's the advantage of this? So let G be uh, just a joint group of G because uh, this group is, uh, is interesting because it is this group that sheds uh, on G and the component group uh, and the component group uh, of the centralizer is very important. <coughs> uh, on the node of G will be um, a C bar E, semi direct product is unipotent radical <coughs> of G. Now we are in characteristic zero, uh, it's just by uh, some classical results of Poston. And C E, uh, C E is just uh, the centralizer of A or O, which is the same as the centralizer of this uh, co-character intersection with G. Uh, and we know that the component group uh, uh, gamma, which, uh, which is either of sometimes in of gamma E, uh, and this is uh, the component of GD by G circle is, uh, is canonically identified with the component group of this uh, reductive part. But well, this is reductive, I should say. And it's a layer part of the centralizer. So it's uh, C by C circle. And, uh, hmm? is GP? So gamma is uh, the component group. Uh, of G is the centralizer <coughs> of E in this uh, in this group. Just a centralizer. Hmm? And group G bar, which I have to put this. So G bar. Uh, uh, what I'm trying to say here really uh, is that uh, this component group depends on the type of G. For instance, uh, if, uh, if we have a group of type A, then we have SLN, and SLN has a center, and the center will contribute to the component group, which we don't want. So therefore, uh, to get the best behavior of the component group, one has to work with, with the groups of uh, the general. So it's uh, uh, the component group of G, and it, its order uh, only involves wet prime. So the component group in type A will be trivial uh, for all the important elements. And uh, <coughs> in type B, C, and Z, component group is just a direct product of some copies of Z2. And in type A, there is one example where when the component group is symmetric group S5. But they all know. So, uh, <coughs> Now, the point is what, why this construction is important. Uh, we observe that CE uh, preserves, uh, it preserves uh, 
n uh, minus 1 and, and this subspace n minus 2 chi n minus 2 chi and so therefore uh, n acts on uh, uh, acts on UGE in the Gamma Ginsburg uh, realization uh, as isomorphisms uh, as isomorphisms uh, preserving uh, a touchdown I should say another thing. Uh, uh, not again. It's very easy to prove that the Lie algebra of uh, C is just G zero. Uh, sorry, G E zero. The zero part uh, of the centralizer. Uh, <coughs> one can show. Uh, I proved that in uh, in 2007, I think <coughs> that. Uh, There is uh, an integral Lie algebra uh, the injection of uh, the well, theta uh, from G E zero to U G E <coughs> such that uh, uh, the differential of the action of C bar C of, uh, of this action here, which I just described, the measure uh, rational action of this reductive group uh, on the finite W algebra, and so since it's rational action, we have a differential. Uh, on C <coughs> on UG uh, equals uh, equals uh, R composition theta uh, restricted to G zero. So <coughs> in the sense that it's uh, it's inner. So <coughs> hence. Uh, any two-sided ideal, any two-sided ideal of uh, here action means the <coughs> action or what? C E bar action. So the, this group C E bar, uh, since it preserves this subspace and uh, and that subspace, it will act on U G as automorphism. It acts on U of G, of course. And it preserves this left ideal, but uh, preserves invariance as well. So it will act on this algebra. By that's F. it? Hmm? By F, but by big F. Uh, by big F, yeah. By restriction of big F to this uh, support. Uh, so, so this implies that any two sided ideal of UG is uh, C bar E, oh, sorry, C bar E sub state. So, uh, because this group is reductive, we can use uh, Weyl's uh, theorem on complete reducibility. And from this, uh, it follows that uh, uh, any two-sided ideal is actually invariant under the connected component of the reductive part of the center. But not invariant under the whole group in general. Okay, having said that, I can uh, uh, introduce this loop filtration. Um, now, um, so this 
So what are the elements? Um, um, in, a, sorry, in the Gang Ginsburg realization, It's very uh, easy to describe. So if you have an element, so if you have an element U, which corresponds to the following elements, and you have um, lambda A B, and I would have to write down uh, X A Z T. But now Z B uh, becomes larger because we are in Gangin polarization. So Z P is going to be Z one. B1, ZS, BS, but we have to also include uh, Z1 prime, BS plus 1, uh, ZS prime, B2S. So this will not, no longer go away. They will be with us, this thing. So therefore, this is bigger, but we can just, uh, uh, this element, uh, one chi will, will go to summation lambda AB, uh, X A uh, and the uh, Z B. Where well, this element actually belongs to this component now is in, uh, in A S and this bit and this bit is in B. It's just a computation one has to uh, perform. Strangely, it works. So the hom homomorphism is very transparent, as you can see. Um, <coughs> What do you say tensor one chi? In the Gunn and Gilbert's edition, there is no tensor one chi. Uh, yeah, if you, if you want, I can just delete it. So I'm just trying to explain how the whole thing works. Yeah. What is A sub S? Okay. A sub S is a wild algebra of this generator. Uh, Z1, 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 S. Tensor over what? Tensor over K over C. And this is a tensor product of associative algebra. So this takes pairwise commute. So this is um, this is my AS. And under our standard relations. <coughs> so okay, um, now we can define a uh, loop filtration. So now we uh, we give uh, UP uh, Z grazing, well, in fact, it will be a non negative grazing uh, direction of lambda E or in characteristic zero by simply by R H, which is the same uh, if K is C. If K is C. So uh, now this will become uh, a graded algebra uh, and extend it uh, and extend this uh, to the tensor product UP tensor KS by saying that uh, the, uh, <coughs> the factors coming from the Y algebra both have degrees here. So, in the following way, so we say the degree of uh, u tends to z is equal to the degree of p. So p is what you call n minus 2? Uh, no, no, uh, th there will be no 2. It's, uh, it's just uh, odd h, uh, x, will, x i will have degree n i now, not n i plus 2. No, I mean p. u of p. Your P, P is my parabolic, so P is just, uh, I think I'm <coughs> but this is my P. 
mu is injected. And let me just sketch the proof. Um, so the proof uses uh, a result of losses. There are different ways to prove it, but the shortest way uh, is out of losses. And that was, uh, I think, published in the Journal of American Math Society, 2010, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, so, in that, uh, 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 in that paper, he uh, constructs a map from ideals, from two-sided ideals. of UGE uh, to uh, to sign the ideals of U of G and he calls it the dagger map. Uh, so it sends I to I dagger and this will be two sided ideal. Uh, two sided ideals of U of G. And this, uh, this map has some nice properties, and uh, one of these uh, properties is that uh, uh, when we have the high intersection is, uh, is the center of UGE. So we need to know what the center of this is. Uh, we'll go to uh, I, I dagger intersection with the center of G. And uh, there is a, a well-known result in, uh, for instance, I think you can find it in exercises in book by this year. So if I cap is not zero, if I dagger, so is not zero, then uh, uh, then it intersects is the center non trivial So any non-zero to side it ideal, even well it can go intersects with the center in non-trivial way. Uh, this implies that uh, this implies that I intersection with the center of the mm -hmm. oh, sorry. <coughs> with the center of U of G is also on the well of course if I is on Um, now, uh, so the kernel we can take uh, uh, we can take uh, I to be the kernel of uh, of the neuron, uh, and that's a two-sided ideal. And observe that uh, uh, and use uh, <coughs> if you look uh, at, uh, at the way how it is constructed uh, and use the Harish Chandra. projection uh, to show. So you're saying this map sending I to I dag and it's injected? Uh, yeah, well, it <coughs> sends uh, something non-zero to non-zero. I mean, it, it, it is constructed by using uh, a certain decomposition theorem which you put for completions. Uh, one has to complete uh, universe and God in algebra in a very nice way. And then uh, completed, it becomes a tensor product of finite W algebra, tensor Y algebra. And, uh, and there is a nice correspondence between two sided idea. What about the second map? Is that, are you saying is that also well defined? On the this one? Yes, I will explain. Uh, that I, one, has to, one needs to know what the center is. This map. But there is, the well -defined, is there a well defined map there? This it is a well defined map. On yeah. the centers? Yes, I will explain what, yeah. So for that one needs to know uh, what the center is and I will come to this. Really, the center of UG is identified canonically with the center of G. The center of G is canonically embedded here. The way we define UG is quite easy to see. But it's not trivial that they are actually equal. So there is an injection uh, from UG uh, there is an inject injected map to the center of UG. 
Well, elements from, from the center obviously belong to the endomorphism algebra of our induced model. So, and this is rejected. Uh, in fact, uh, it is an isomorphism of algebra. That, that's what I'm going to show. So, and then use uh, Harris Chandra projection to show that I intersection is the center of, uh, of uh, mu bar is mu? Sorry? Yes, yeah. and that's a contradiction. Sorry? Mu bar is mu? Uh, mu, oh sorry, uh, this bar I think uh, is something that I did not realize. So, mu is just mu. Yes. So, uh, kernel of mu is a two-sided ideal of UGE, and you can use, uh, you can use um, a Harishchandra uh, projection to see, one has to do some computation, that this has to be zero. And this, so it's just a sketch uh, of the probe. Now, uh, let me discuss uh, maybe the center of eulogy. If my number is still correct. Uh, uh, So uh, I'm going to prove that, well, first of all, uh, Z of G uh, embeds into uh, the center of uh, UGT because of as, uh, well, we obviously have uh, a map here. And the way it was defined, it's just an endomorphism module or induced module. And the elements of the center are obviously endomorphisms. Why? Uh, Harish Chandra projection, you can see that this actually is injected. What is not trivial is why it is subjective. And for subjectivity, we need some properties of, uh, of the restriction um, of the joint quotient morphism to the slowness. We need some results. Are you going to use this new order? Uh, for, for, to prove this, I'm not going to use it. Ah, I'm going to use Poisson's touch. Oh. <clears throat> so, um, uh, so uh, let's first uh, consider. Uh, uh, so, we <coughs> have the caution morphism from. Uh, uh, from G to um, well, first of all, we will often identify uh, G and G star V as a hidden form. Maybe a bit confusing. <coughs> well, one well, has to do it. So then we have from up uh, from G to a L. L is uh, is the rank of uh, uh, of the Lie algebra. <coughs> And this uh, more goes to take sets to a collection of uh, values of basic invariants on it. Um, so here. Uh, the polynomial algebra and homogeneous generator. I'm using notation from, from previous lectures. And now we restrict F uh, to the slaughter uh, restricting uh, F to, to the slaughter slice E plus G F uh, we get a morphism and we get a morphism so I will call it five from E plus G F to a pen, and we take us to by uh, one times by over times, and phi i is just a restriction of that phi to, to the slide. Uh, this uh, morphism was studied by Slaughter, and uh, he proved some results about it. 
Uh, so slowly we broke the that phi is, uh, is flat and subjective. And it has a uh, normal type. And then I somehow generalized it. Although uh, what, what I did uh, is not really a big deal. I, uh, I had a correspondence with, with Peter Slaughter about this. He was a bit annoyed that he didn't finish it off uh, completely because normality is the hardest uh, bit here. So, but one can also prove uh, uh, <coughs> uh, so moreover uh, what we have is uh, each fiber uh, phi and also psi size uh, psi 1 and psi 1 in is an irreducible uh, normal complete intersection Reducible normal complete intersection of dimension R minus L, where R is, of course, the dimension of the centroid. <coughs> and uh, non singular points are so the non singular points. Intersection uh, uh, G regular. So they're just uh, regular elements. Uh, regular means uh, uh, the dimension of, uh, of the centralizer is equal to R. So those regular elements that belong to, uh, to the fiber. So generically, the fibers are smooth. The quality or inclusion? The quality. The specific quality. Non, I could write it by the formula non sync or this is it. Uh, moreover, uh, and finally, uh, what we need uh, is a uh, what we need is uh, uh, K. I see the function of the ground is like uh, is a free um, uh, C by one by a module. It's it's flat, right? Uh, yeah, that's flat. Uh, but I don't need this. I don't, I, I'm writing explicitly. And uh, the defining idea of Finding idea. Well, I could say that uh, all fibers are reduced, but this means the defining idea of the fiber is uh, is just phi one minus psi one phi uh, l minus psi. <coughs> So then this last bit uh, will, will be important. <coughs> okay, now how can we uh, how can we start with the center? So uh, let uh, 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 you will be. Uh, a non-zero element. 
be in the center of uh, UG. Now we want to prove uh, that it belongs to the center of G uh, and let Z be the corresponding gradient with respect to the uh, dump filtration of U and this belongs to function algebra on the slope side. Uh, well, uh, then uh, Z is uh, in the Poisson center of this Poisson algebra. where the Poisson bracket is, uh, is induced by uh, Dunphy bracket. Now this, uh, um, this bracket was studied by uh, uh, Gunn and Ginsburg, uh, so they proved. Uh, proved that This Poisson bracket is obtained from the Lee Poisson bracket from G, where we identify this distance. Uh, this is given by just by, by Lee by uh, by Poisson reduction of Hamiltonian reduction. Sasha, but didn't you prove that really in the first part? Sorry? Uh, so you didn't prove it? I didn't prove it, no, no. Uh, they did. Uh, I think it's section, I don't remember. I think okay. it's section three in their paper, where they discussed it. Uh, but they didn't prove it really in the first part, right? So in particular, this implies that uh, the Poisson leaves uh, of this Poisson structure are just uh, uh, <coughs> irreducible components of the intersection of G orbits with, with the slides. So hence, uh, this implies that uh, each fiber uh, fiber side uh, has a dense uh, symplectically uh, this is step to to this and the part has finitely many uh, symplectically but we're not going to use it so hence uh, since uh, since this element Z in the Poisson center so then uh, Z uh, <coughs> restricted to the sleeve. Which fiber or generic fiber? Uh, any fiber. As a dense intensity. But generically, fi uh, a fiber is just one single simplicity, generic. Uh, then Z restricted to, uh, to that leaf uh, is a scale. But, uh, but then, uh, since each, each variety is irreducible, it follows that uh, In the risky form. So uh, as each uh, well uh, fine doors of psi also open, uh, fine doors of psi, yeah, well, maybe I should say open, uh, is irreducible. 
uh, this implies that z uh, restricted to to each polygon is a scalar. Now we want to show <coughs> we want to show that uh, z belongs to C phi one phi f. And if you manage to do it, we can prove that uh, uh, that u belongs to the subalgebra generated by basic invariance by argument involving filtration by induction essentially. Okay, uh, so let's uh, uh, okay, a r where i belongs to a set of countable set of indices. Uh, there are three bases. There are three bases of uh, uh, of the C phi one phi L module. <coughs> it was the, was the functional algebra on the slides. Okay, and uh, we may assume <laughs> and assume that uh, a i zero is equal to one for some i zero. You can always choose such a basis for some i zero. Okay, then we write uh, z <coughs> to be equal to summation a i. Uh, well, the I <coughs> to find the sum where QI is uh, in this subbing. Okay, suppose. Uh, 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 suppose uh, a i is not equal to zero, or uh, not maybe I should say a i q i is not equal to zero for for some i not equal to i zero. If no such thing exists, then the other. Okay then. Uh, uh, QI of Psi, uh, uh, QI restricted to some uh, fiber. Because the fibers cover everything, uh, is going to be non zero for some Psi. Well, uh, <clears throat> but then uh, Z is limited to, uh, to this uh, fiber mm -hmm. is equal to uh, the summation okay. A I uh, Q I of Psi because these are just uh, polynomials in phi and phi is, uh, uh, is constant on the fiber. Uh, I the XY. <coughs> and this is not a constant. It's uh, not a constant on, on the file. This is because uh, this set uh, is restricted to the fiber. Uh, but I belongs to I. It's a K basis. Also, it's a C basis. 
for the function algebra on the, on the fiber. This is because each of the defining ideal of the fiber is generated just by fire and minus society. Here we use reducing. We use reducing. Of, of all fiber. And so this is a contradiction. So then, uh, 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 so Z uh, belongs to uh, C phi 1 phi L, and this implies that uh, U belongs to uh, C uh, F1 tilde. Remember this notation. Uh, where uh, here z of g is, and you know it's a polynomial algebra with these elements which has the lifts of a five and then the open one. And the last bit can be proven by induction on filtration with you. Because we know the highest term is here, all these phi i uh, are obtained by uh, really just by applying the phi's and then passing to the corresponding greater part. Uh, there is another proof uh, of this, which is not uh, that well known. Uh, this proof uh, does not really use anything about the uh, Poisson algebra structure, except one minor bit, which is much easier to prove. So it doesn't use simplexity at all. And this proof, can, this proof is, uh, is, in my opinion, joint with Panishev and Yakimova. So there is another proof. was published in the Journal of Algebra, I don't remember when. But that's a special issue dedicated to 70th birthday of India. Um, and this process uh, is more algebraic. Uh, it's based on, um, on the, the following result uh, about the uh, graded Poisson algebra. So, we are mentioning it. So uh, here how it goes. So let uh, uh, A be a polynomial algebra in uh, say n variables. That's one x n. Uh, like uh, function algebra on the slope of the slice, and we uh, we give it the gradient, so uh, the degree of uh, Xi is equal to Mi or some Mi which is bigger than Z plus Z bigger than Z. So all Xi have positive degree uh, but not necessarily degree one. And uh, uh, so suppose uh, K is a Poisson algebra. Graded. Mm -hmm. Graded. Uh, a great, um, okay, great. Yes. <laughs> but no zero grade. No grade zero grade. We don't say it has to be graded, but uh, we, we need to impose some condition. Uh, so we have, um, well, and, uh, let phi be uh, the corresponding Poisson by the actor. So it lives in home A, and we take uh, omega 2A A. And uh, so uh, this is the corresponding Poisson uh, by the actor. Uh, 
Yeah, we did why this in the graphics graphic situation, but I'm not sure if it's actually necessary. Uh, maybe. So what, what does it do? Uh, well, it does the following. It has a property that uh, uh, when we take uh, <coughs> so a typical element in omega 2, which has this form, dF, dJ, uh, and pi belongs to the dual module. So there is a pairing a, uh, a value. And this uh, is, by definition, is just for some bracket of that and g. Now this is how we uh, define this thing. Uh, and then um, we have uh, to each side, uh, side in a n, in the affine space, uh, we can, uh, we can assign a matrix, um, we can assign the matrix uh, uh, we'll call it pi of psi and this is a matrix uh, of the values xi is j the xi's are generated, maybe I should write proper case uh, Few symmetric matrix, and then we uh, uh, we evaluate this matrix at the sum. So it's a matrix. Yeah. Sorry, pi of psi is a matrix. Uh, pi of psi is just a matrix with entries in, in, in the base. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, um, let's give a metric one. Now we define the index uh, of A, which is a precise generalization of index uh, of a Lie algebra. Um, the Lie algebra would fit into this picture. Uh, so the index is defined as follows. It is n minus maximum of the rounds of this uh, by uh, psi, where psi belongs to a, a. So this is the index of A. And then we, uh, we need uh, <coughs> the following. So we also introduce the singular locus of pi. And the singular locus of pi is just all psi uh, in A n. For each, the rank uh, becomes smaller such as the function of uh, pi of this matrix is smaller than uh, n minus e. And then uh, we impose uh, the following condition. So we say, uh, uh, so suppose, suppose a singular locus of pi is not too big. Uh, uh, as, uh, as I mentioned, less than or equal to n minus 2. Well, then I can now state the result. <coughs> of course, this has to be verified in our case for, a, for the Poisson algebra that we obtained <coughs> uh, from, uh, from the Kajdan uh, filtration. But this is not hard. Uh, to do, and up to this point. This uses uh, Costan's criterion for regularity. Do you say it holds all the satisfies mm -hmm. this condition? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it satisfies this condition, which follows from uh, uh, Costan's criterion for regularity. We also need, uh, suppose, uh, no. suppose we have uh, uh, Q1, uh, QL in the Poisson center uh, of okay. A, the Poisson center. Where L 
is the index of k and uh, and the Jacobian locus of this element to one here has uh, dimension less than or equal to n minus 2 again. Well, then the theorem says uh, that uh, under these assumptions, uh, the Poisson standard is generated by these things. Uh, C to one here. So in our case, uh, uh, in our case, of course, A is just a function algebra on the slope that is like B plus G. <coughs> and uh, so all these conditions uh, are satisfied. And QI uh, is equal to fire. And the index of this algebra will be equal to the rank. So uh, all these conditions can, can be checked. And uh, one doesn't need to use Poisson uh, leaves in this type of reason. And so it's, uh, you, you can read the profiles in this way. Isn't it more or less a link to Odesky also? Yeah, well, Odesky also. In this paper, there is the proof also of this algebraic part. Yes. But this, uh, this is, uh, uh, well, it's influenced by earlier work by, by Adesky and so on. Right, now uh, we can. Uh, all, 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 both descriptions also in characteristic zero. Yeah, this is entirely, this argument is, uh, since it, it, uh, the, these things which involve differential form are extremely hard to generalize to characteristic P. I was still wondering whether if you could replace, well, there will be always some factorials, and uh, it's very hard to, to, to keep control of these things. But maybe if one can replace this by some sort of divided powers, I don't know. <coughs> Because there is a divided power structure on even parts of, uh, uh, <coughs> of uh, omega 2i. Right, right now uh, I would like to um, uh, probably, have, I, I guess, uh, uh, let, let us start uh, paragraph four. Uh, mm -hmm. It will be a uh, uh, finite double algebra and primitive idea. Start with this Kraden's equivalence. So uh, <coughs> uh, let uh, yeah, for point one that will use Kraden's equi uh, equivalence. Uh, let uh, uh, the work of a C. Uh, so let phi be associated with some important element. And we assume that the base field is C. <coughs> uh, so let C pi be the full subcategory of all G modules, um, well, whose objects are. Those B for which those G modules for which uh, uh, X minus chi of X, uh, X on B locally in the form.
and that is for all x and n. Now we need this subalgebra m again. This involves maximal total as a proper subspace. Okay, um, then uh, uh, if v is not zero, then so if v is not zero, then this subspace, the subspace of uh, called vita test, uh, which consists of all v in v such that uh, x dot v is equal to pi of x v for all x and m. This is not zero. You mean if v is non zero in C card? If v is, uh, yes, if v is non zero uh, in C card. Yes. Okay, um, then uh, we have a fun type. Um, okay, f from uh, from C chi to U G E mod, which takes V to uh, to this space. And here uh, we use the fact that uh, uh, that UGE uh, is equal to uh, U of G and chi other. And so in this realization, it is clear that uh, the algebra we left on, on the space of beta in this realization. Okay, uh, then uh, Scriabin proved that uh, well, we also know uh, that UG has somewhat different realizations, so it is a endomorphism algebra uh, of uh, QE opposite. So it has uh, uh, on, uh, on QE on the right. And then uh, if um, if L is uh, a UG module, then uh, an M tilde, which we can define as follows. So it just stands out over uh, UGE which acts on the right uh, is a symmetry. And so uh, we have another function. So we have the function. G okay, uh, from uh, Lush of notation, uh, we get a function from uh, the UG mod uh, to C chi. Uh, it can be shown that uh, <coughs> this module is simply actually in C chi, which takes M to M C. And then Scriven proved. Uh, We prove that uh, well, there are two things. The first, uh, uh, f and g are quasi inverse uh, equivalences. And the second part is um, uh, one can actually, uh, if one knows n, one also knows n tilde. So we also know that QE is, uh, is a free right, uh, is a free right UG mod. 
well, these bases, one can say um, what this basis is, it's just uh, um, x uh, r plus 1. We, uh, we don't include the first r vectors of our basis, a r plus 1, x m, a m, and z1, d1, uh, z s, d1. Where x i as before. And so a i, b i, uh, non negative integer. Right, so then, <coughs> Scraven proved uh, this uh, theorem when, uh, when he, uh, he was in Manchester for one year and then uh, when he left, he uh, wrote to me that he has this proof. It was difficult actually to convince him to publish it. And so eventually, I managed to appear as appendix to my paper. But this generalizes uh, earlier work of Constant in the regular new case. So the corollary of this is um, corollary of this is uh, if for um, if m is uh, is a irreducible new g module, uh, then uh, and tilde yeah. is an irreducible g module, and hence. I don't need this notation, so I am an uh, annihilator in U of G of M tilde is a primitive ideal of U of G. Is a primitive ideal. So this is how we can attach uh, a primitive ideal uh, starting with uh, UG module. Of course, the most interesting case is when uh, M is a finite dimensional UG module, but at the moment we don't know whether such things always exist. Uh, I'll talk about it uh, next time. Okay,